Hello and happy self-care Sunday. So I'm just taking a moment uh, as folks come on here. So I'm gonna give it just a second. Hi everyone. So I would love to hear from y'all about where you're located and how you're feeling today. If you wanna drop that in the chat or you could even just, huh? hi Albania. You could even just drop uh, an emoji <laughs> that reflects how you're feeling today. Yes, I'm gonna tell you who I am. I sure am in just a second. Just letting people come on. I'm very excited to be here with you this morning. Hi, the Netherlands. London, oh, Saudi Arabia, North Carolina. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining today. So, um, I'm gonna jump in here as everyone's coming on board. Hi, Liverpool, oh, Bronx, New York. Mm. Yes, I'm seeing how some people are feeling today. I'm with you. So welcome, you're in the right place. Hi, Florida, hi, Spain. Yes, healing time. So welcome everyone to this Heal and Well Set Self-Care Sunday series. My name is Wendy Opsler. I'm a certified yoga therapist and a yoga instructor at WellSet. If you're unfamiliar, WellSet is the first holistic digital studio for mind, body, and emotional well-being. And it includes 20 evidence-based practices in movement and mindfulness, things like yoga and breath work, um, uh, hypnosis, Ayurveda, acupressure, um, even things like guided journaling and gua sha, and these are just to name a few. And these classes are really designed to help you manage stress, to boost your mood, to reduce anxiety, and begin to like shift habits, improve sleep, and just to feel more balanced overall, which I think all of us can use right now. So to that end, today's class is going to be a short and super sweet restorative yoga class where we're going to create some breathing room and mindful space within. And we'll do this with conscious breathing, awareness, and nurturing shapes. So because we're doing a restorative yoga class today, we're gonna need some uh, props or items to really support the body so that we feel held and cozy and nurtured. And I'm inviting you today to just keep it simple, look around your living space and grab some items, and I'll show you what I have. So as you can see, I have a chair set up right here. And um, I'm gonna invite you to also grab a chair if it's easy. I've got about three pillows off my sofa, a pillow off the bed, and a blanket. Okay. So just gather some things you think you need or want, and we're gonna hop in into this practice. So as you grab a chair, <laughs> go ahead and place that chair in front of you so that the seat of the chair is facing you. Okay, and I, because my chair is hard, it doesn't have a cushy uh, top part, I've got a blanket on top. And I also have a pillow behind me that I'm gonna seat myself on just to support the spine a little bit more here. And I'm um, gonna take the legs wide. Now, what I wanna say about this practice today is that I am inviting each and every one of you to invite all parts of yourself to be present here today, whatever that is. If you're coming to the mat, you know you're feeling anxious, you know you're feeling tired, you're feeling hopeful, you're looking for healing, whatever it is that you're coming with, there's usually several things, it's not just one. Uh, just invite all those parts to be present and with a sense of curiosity and letting all the judgment and stuff go. So with that said, as I suggest certain shapes for you today, you have full permission to try it out 
to seek some sort of stillness and ease and you have full permission to shift, to modify, to change it, okay? So if you have really tight legs or you're feeling really stiff today, seat yourself up on a little blanket fold or pillow stack. If having your legs wide isn't quite so comfortable, just take them more narrow, okay? You could even take them straight underneath your chair if you're able to do that. Sometimes that puts a little more pressure on the low back, okay? So we're gonna try to find just a nice leaning toward or forward toward the chair. So again, you're gonna play and explore to see what feels good for you. And you can build up your surface area that you're leaning toward to whatever height you need. So it's not about how far down you can go, it's how supported can you be and how cozy can you get. So I'm gonna just start to allow my forehead to rest down just on this little kind of makeshift pillow that I've made with my forearms. And again, there might be a shifting of these positions as you start to settle in. Being mindful that you're supported enough that there's zero strain on the low back. That you start to feel like you can let go a little bit. That you're in a position that starts to feel like there can be a softening present. Now, as we start this process of arrival into this space, into our bodies, it is just that, it's a process. So it's not like flipping the switch, you know, in a light, and oh, uh, all of a sudden we're calm and <laughs> grounded. Um, so just, again, give yourself permission to start to peel back the layers here. And I invite you to start to notice your breath. Inviting your breath in through your nose, and you might even take these first few breaths exhaling through the mouth. Feel free to even, you know, maybe narrow the legs or have the knees softly bent with support right up under the knees just to make it super cozy. And see if you can begin to deepen your breath. Maybe now allowing that breath to move in through your nose and out through your nose. Allowing your breath to travel as it moves in through your nose, down through the, the back side of the throat, behind the heart, and all the way into the belly. Feel the belly expand. And as you exhale in your mind's eye, watch the breath move back along that same pathway out through the nose. A full breath in through the nose and a full breath out through the nose. Notice your breath moving into the back body. Can you feel the breath begin to expand your back body and even your side body as if you were blowing air into a balloon? If it's comfortable, you might consider here reaching your arms forward over your chair and bringing your palms together like prayer position Maybe your forehead's resting on the chair, 
or maybe you start to bend your arms and cradle your forehead into the heels of your hands, allowing the whole head to be held. And I invite you here to set a conscious intention for your practice today, for this time that you've carved out for yourself today. And breathing life into that intention. And at any point, you can release your arms and kind of resettle your forehead back down on the seat of your chair or on your forearms. Again, making any shifts that feel necessary as you allow the body to soften. And you allow the breath to move fully in, expanding your being. We're going to take one more full cycle of breath right here. Gently lifting the head, starting to draw the body upright, softly bending the knees, using your hands to maybe help your legs bend very gently. We're just going to move the chair just out of the way for a moment, and we will come back to it perhaps later. And carefully begin to shift your body with your knees onto the ground. You might utilize, if you had a pillow or blanket under you, you might utilize that in front of you. You might even stack that up with extra pillows. And we're just gonna take just a moment in a child's pose, just an easy child's pose. So again, you're gonna figure out what feels good, but this is just to neutralize the spine and create some space here. Reaching the arms maybe over your pillows if you're using them or if you're just kind of on the ground right now, that's fine too. Just reaching the arms in any way that feels nice. Feeling the length of the spine. Inhale through the nose, maybe exhale through the mouth, letting go of any energies emotions that do not serve here. As you take your next big breath in, breathe in love. And breathe out fear. And then very gently walking your hands back towards your knees and rising up. And we're going to set up for our next shape. So um, you might end up being flat on the ground with just a pillow under your head. I'll show you how I'm setting up. I have my pillow off my bed and a little pillow off the sofa. I'm just creating a little ramp to support my spine and my head. And then I have my other pillows to support my outer legs. So I encourage you, even if you feel like you don't need support, I invite you to use support so that we can cue the body to be held. And you're just going to seat yourself right in front of your prop or pillow if you're using it and start to lie back. And then grab what other, whatever props you're going to use for your legs, bringing the soles of your feet together and knees apart and supporting the outer knees or outer legs in any way that feels nice for you. So once you get here in this shape and take your time, it might feel nice to just release the arms to either side, palms facing up just to allow the heart to open. If you feel like 
you're still feeling a bit anxious in this moment and you want to ground your energy a little bit more, you might take one hand to your belly and one hand to your heart or both hands to your belly or hip points. Or you might even take a blanket that's folded long ways right over the front of your pelvis so that you feel a little bit weighted here. Breathing consciously, feeling the parts of your body that are being held by Mother Earth. Perhaps imagine that you're being lovingly tethered to Mother Earth here. And that you can begin to surrender the weight of your body to her. If your hands are resting on the front of your body anywhere, you might begin to notice the natural rise and fall of your body as you breathe. I invite you to exhale through your mouth anytime you might feel the need to just continue to release any pent up energy, any fatigue, any anxiety. As you take your next sweet breath in, I invite you to breathe in hope. And as you exhale, we breathe out grief. And when you notice that you get lost in your thoughts, or that your thoughts are taking you to a place that not is not of this present moment, just lovingly invite your attention back to this moment. Lovingly invite your attention back to your breath. take about three to five more breaths right here. If you feel yourself struggling to stay present, give yourself grace. Be curious about that rather than judging, right? And I invite you to rather come back to your intention and maybe your intention was a word or a phrase or a state of being. Maybe if your word was calm, for example. Perhaps for these last couple of breaths, as you take your breath in, in your mind's eye, you could say to yourself, I am. And then as you exhale, you fill in that blank. So for example, if your intention was calm, perhaps the inhale is I am and the exhale is calm. On 
your next conscious exhale inside your hands to your outer legs and begin to draw your knees together, feet flat. Gently hug your knees in towards your chest. Give them a little squeeze. You can grab onto the front of your shins or the back of your thighs. It might feel good to rock a little bit from side to side. It might feel good to let the knees drop open. You're going to see what feels right. And then I'm just going to mindfully roll toward a side and press myself up just enough to remove this pillow or actually shift rather this pillow. So the pillow that I had under my spine, I'm going to now take for my head. The other little pillow I had, I'm going to place on my right side and my pillows, the other ones, are on my left. So. If you want to have some propage set up on your left side and maybe a little something on the right, although it might, might not be uh, necessary, we're going to come lie back again and come into a mindful twist. So we're not going to be here long, but we still want to be supported. So I'm rolling on to my left side and I'm going to prop my right leg up onto my props. I've got my bottom leg bent, but yours could be straight. And then I've got my head on my pillow, although you may have your head on the floor. And I'm gonna to start to reach my chest open, my right arm back. I'm gonna wiggle the left shoulder blade out from under and to the left, just to help facilitate that twist. And I'm reaching that right arm as it reaches open, the palm is open. I've got this pillow, what you see here, just supporting my arm, mostly because my arm is not completely flush to the floor. And I just wanna make this as yummy and comfortable as possible. So you're gonna find what feels good and feel free to modify in any way that feels nice in your body. So as we start to twist, we are just starting to really release tension that can build up in the spine, in and around the spine. Getting into a nice opening through the right side of the chest and shoulder. Some of you might get a little bit of hip stretch in the right outer hip glute, so that's just an added benefit. I'm gonna take a few breaths here, not here very long, but I want you to breathe consciously to the best of your ability. And as we twist our spine, as we twist our body in this way, sometimes the breath can feel a little bit compromised. So do your best to just allow your torso to expand 360 degrees around the central axis of the spine. Your head might be turned or you might just have your gaze toward the ceiling. As you take your next big breath in, breathe in peace. As you exhale, breathe out anger. Breathing in peace, breathing out anger. final breath here and on your next conscious exhale we're going to float the right arm all the way over to meet the left arm reaching past that hand and then very carefully just bring the body back to center hugging the knees in towards the chest to release the low back and neutralize the spine pressing the pelvis down toward the ground as the knees move in toward the chest. 
And then we're gonna very carefully begin to set up for the other side. So I'm just really just shifting my props from side to side. So I'll be able to see the setup here differently. And then I'm gonna to roll toward my right side, bring my left leg, inner left leg, support it over my props. I'm gonna to start to wiggle the right shoulder blade out from under as I open up through the chest and arms, supporting the left arm with this little pillow. And you may notice as you get here that one side feels different than the other, and that's okay. <laughs> We're asymmetrical beings, so very common for that to happen. Just feel free to readjust as needed. Breathing into the full 360 degrees circumference of the torso. Noticing the parts of your body being held by the earth. The parts of your body being held by your props. Yielding the weight of your body to these items, to these places, to the space in which you reside in here. Surrendering. We take two more full cycles of breath here. Taking a huge sweet breath in and on your next exhale, take the left arm over to meet the right arm and any amount pass. And then gently rolling back onto your back and we're gonna come into the final resting pose. You could certainly, if you don't feel like getting up again to grab your chair, you could just take your pillows and place them underneath the backs of your knees, you know, and be supported that way. But I will show you, just as an offering, um, what you could do with your chair, since it's not too far away, hopefully. Just bringing that chair back onto, right and back in front of you, rather. And um, I'm gonna scooch my pelvis pretty close to the chair and start to swing my legs up into the seat of the chair. And I have a little pillow under the head here. And then I'm just placing another pillow right over the front of my pelvis. And um, I invite you to grab an extra blanket and place it on you if you feel chilly or you just want to feel a little more cozy. Just letting your legs just kind of flop and land wherever feels best or readjusting in any way that you need. And as you settle into this final resting pose, here is where we need not manage the breath anymore. We need not manage really anything. This is an opportunity to now fully land into a state of being rather than doing. An opportunity to just be here now, to be held, to be present, and to acknowledge the magic of this very moment.
free to stay here as long as you can. Allowing yourself to rest. So if you need to come out sooner than later, do it mindfully. And I just wanted to mention to those of you that the HEAL audience gets um, their monthly well-set membership for only $15 a month. And you can use the code HEAL OFFER, that's no spaces, HEAL OFFER, all one word, at wellset.co. And this is in addition to the 14 day free trial. Um, so you would uh, get that $15 a month after your 14 day free trial instead of the $89 a month. <clears throat> and I also just wanna remind you guys that this self care series, the next one, will be the Sunday after Thanksgiving, November 26. Um, so be sure to hop back on. We'd love to have you here with us. Um, if you feel inspired, you can follow here on Instagram, wellset at wellsetco, or me, Wendy Opsler at Wendy Opsler. And I will leave you guys with a loving kindness meditation May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be peaceful and at ease. May I be free from inner and outer harm. May I be surrounded with love. May I surround others with love. Blessings. Namaste.